This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. But before we get here, let's talk about foreplay. The number of women that I have had complain to me over the years that the men they're trying to get with or date just don't know what they're doing in the bedroom is astronomical. Especially guys, as we get older, we should only be elevating and getting better at the hookup game. And yet again, time after time, women come to me and complain about they're dating these older dudes and they just don't know what's going on in the bedroom. They know nothing about how to really arouse a woman. And more importantly, they're rushing to sex. In other words, they are not good at all with any kind of foreplay. If you do the right kind of foreplay, you will have that woman so ready to go that by the time you finally get down and taking off her panties, it'll be like a gushing waterfall before you even enter into her. But most guys don't know how to do that. They're not studying up. And I want to give you a leg up on how to do that. If you are not doing any kind of foreplay with your women, then you are missing out on really being able to experience the full capacity of just how excited for you that she can get. So as a public service, I'm going to go through the various steps that you need to be taking as it pertains to foreplay so you can really get these women off and so they will want to keep on, no pun intended, coming back to you. All right, so to start off with, understand that foreplay begins outside the bedroom. If you're, whether you're dating them or you've been in a relationship for a while, the reality is that the more prep work you're able to do before the bedroom's even in the picture, then the better off you're going to be. So if you're dating a woman, this means like, you know, you're taking out on a good date, you're, you're, you're in her the fields, you're knowing how to have the kind of communication that's going to incite her and entice her to think about you in a more sexual way. You need to learn how to be better at flirtation, how to, you know, be able to touch them in certain ways, appropriately in public, but you know, you know, knowing how to make out, knowing how to hold hands in a certain style that's going to make them feel like, oh, he really, knows how to handle me, knowing the kind of things to talk about that let women know that you are experienced enough without fully saying that, oh, I have a lot of experience doing this. But you really want to focus on like trying to give her the best time that you possibly can outside the bedroom so she starts building up these feels for you, right? Then beyond that, knowing the kind of touches to do to a woman that are in, in one essence, not completely sexual, but it starts getting the, the motors burning or running, then that's going to also be helpful in terms of starting to rev her up. And so to that end, you know, doing light touches, because I find, for example, that women really like light touches on their back or their necks. When you're making out with them, you know, kissing them on certain parts of their face, like especially in this area right here, like something about this area, it is a huge erogenous zone for a lot of women. And so many guys discount that because they're thinking, I got to go straight to the main sexualized parts. I got to go for like, you know, the woman's nipples. I got to go for her down there region. But you really want to look at other parts of her outside of those places that you can use to start getting her ready for more stuff, to start fantasizing about, you know, thinking, oh my gosh, if this touch right here is so good, I can only imagine how this is going to be once he actually gets me down to all my nakedness and stuff like that. Assuming that the situation has been set up for a hookup to potentially go down. Here are these steps that you're going to take in terms of your foreplay game to really, really, really get her nice and moist down there. So to start off with, assuming she's coming back to your house, let's say she's going back to your place. Please, please, please clean your entire place. The cleaner that your place is, then the woman in her head doesn't have to think about all the clutter that's around and the stuff that she needs to potentially pick up or any kind of weird smells that are going to deter her from this mood of wanting to hook up. Like it's surprisingly easy to get a woman out of her mood if you don't have certain things set up. So have your place clean and make sure it smells good. You get some air fresheners if you got to. Some plugins will be helpful, especially for your guys' bathrooms. Because sometimes, let's be real, you don't you're not aware that those moly towels that you've used to dry yourself off with are going to cause a scent to happen. So just have some on standby. Make sure you have some kind of drink. Like typically. Women are going to be looking for some kind of alcohol at your place, whether it's like wine, whether it's margaritas, but have something that allows her to get rid of some of her inhibition. Go to the store and get some wine and get some kind of drink just to have on standby. She might not be a drinker. Still get it anyway, right? So then beyond that, again, we're setting a mood here. So you want to make sure that the lights are dim in a subconscious way. You dimming the lights, it's going to dilate both of your eyes' pupils 
it has been shown that having pupils dilated makes us makes us look attract more attractive to other people. So you're going to she's going to look more attractive to you. You're going to look more attractive to her. Fantastic. All right. Beyond that, you know, ideally you're going to get her on the couch. Maybe you have a movie that's set or maybe you have some music playing. You know, either one of those will work. But you really want to kind of focus on sitting down and getting to talk to her a little bit, you know, you know, t- getting more into, you know, what she's really into and the kind of things that she's like. This is the t- this is the space, by the way, where, you know, even though you're trying to bond and connect with her, do not talk about negatives. We're trying to create a positive atmosphere. So keep things lively. Don't be asking questions like, so what was your last breakup like? And, you know, what's your family history like? I know you said you got abused. and Like, don't bring that kind of stuff up, right? In terms of the foreplay side of things, though, you want to make sure that you're getting closer to her. You're putting yourself in a position where you're close by her. So if she, if she wants to, she can reach out and touch you. She can put her head on your shoulder or whatever. Like those are all really good signs, right? At some point in this though, you should be getting to the making out phase. Like ideally if you've been dating her for a minute or even if if she's your girlfriend, especially if she's your girlfriend, you should definitely be doing this because it'll remind her that you still find her desirable. But the point is that, yeah, at some point you're going to start making out, which is great. Now the problem is most guys go from the we're making out phase to like time to take off clothes, kind of let me touch all your parts. And again, you want to make sure that we're diving into this a little bit slower because the slower you go, it's just going to build up more and more anticipation for her and it's going to get her more wetter down there, right? So maybe you start off with you're making out with her and then you're kind of like kissing on her neck. If you hear her moaning at all, it means keep doing that, but kissing her slowly. We want you to go in slow as it pertains to kissing her on her neck. And then maybe you're like touching over her clothes, but you're not fully like trying to get under her shirt and grab stuff and go down there. Like, don't do that. Okay. So then at some point you're doing that. And then you just say casually, Hey, how would you like a massage? And she turns around or whether it's on the couch or on the bed or whatever like that and start massaging her back. I found like her upper back is really good place. It's also, I find women like being kissed on their backs. Like uh, again, these are things that maybe you as a guy don't necessarily feel, but women, they feel these things. They feel the little things on their back and like each of those little kisses are like anticipated touches. Like, oh, I didn't know where on my back he was going to kiss me. Oh, I didn't know his lips are going to feel like that. That feels really, really good. Oh, he's doing it again. Now he's using his tongue. All these things, again, you're thinking the back is not an erosion to own. Women's backs, they get tension in them. If they got bigger boobs, they're always like, like, oh my God, my back hurts. And so you being able to go back there and kiss things and massage things. Again, we're building up anticipation. She's getting in tune with your touch. You're reading her body and you're paying attention to parts of her body that most guys aren't paying attention to, which means those places are starved for touch. And even though you're thinking it's just her back, I can assure you those nerve endings, especially as you get closer down to like near where her butt is, if you're massaging like this part of her back right here, like that's going to be closer to her butt and closer to the, to the nether region down here. So trust me, she's going to feel that. Okay. Now again, you're not touching directly on the actual parts, but you're massaging it close enough near them to where she's going to feel that. And she's going to be like, Oh my God, this is feeling good. This is feeling great. The better you can get at massage techniques, the better it is. You'll be able to do this. So definitely read a few books. Like you ain't got to be a complete professional at massaging, but the more you know about things like, and I use my hands where I put them like this and I'll turn them on a woman's back like this to really get her feeling back here. That, or like, I'll know how to grab her back in its way where I'm kind of grabbing it like this and just massaging her shoulder blades, like that kind Kind of stuff. Let me tell you, I for some whatever reason I have found it drives women crazy. So you definitely want to focus on the back for a minute, right? And then she's gonna be thinking, okay, he's near the lower part of my back. The next part he's gonna grab is my butt. Okay, let's let, let's get it over with. No, 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 don't don't go for a butt yet. No, no, no. What you're gonna do is women's feet, those nerve endings will go right to where you want them to go as well as her thigh muscles. So instead, you want to start focusing on her thigh muscles, her inner thighs. You're not touching her butt. You're not touching her vagina yet, but you're, you're doing the inner thighs. You're staying there for a little bit and massaging those, and you're going down to like the, <laughs> it's really, this part of her leg right here. Like you want to get that part because there's a lot of meat tissue here. And just, again, massaging that on them is going to feel really good. And then you want to get down to their feet. Now, the feet part right here, sorry, my feet are a little crusty, but like right in this region right here, you want to massage right here. You want to massage here. You want to get their toes. I find doing this kind of thing on their toes actually like really gets them wild. So you want to kind of do that. Just, just kind of push. 
You want to make sure you, you massage each individual toe because all these toes go down. Again, these go to the nerve endings up here, right? And so as you're down there, you're going to be thinking, what is Harry talking about? But you're going to start to see her moan and squeal and be like, she, part of it's going to probably be like, oh my God, I've never like had somebody massage my feet before and this actually feels really, really good. Now, some women are subconscious about their feet. So, and you're going to be surprised. Some women take off their shoes and it's like, uh, you're thinking you didn't know her toe was going to look like that, okay? You can't react. Just don't react to it. Act like in the moment her feet are the best feet you've ever seen in your life because, again, it's going to lead to the promised land. And then afterwards you can discuss about, hey, have you ever considered getting a pedicure? <laughs> Anyway, so now in the in, but but we'll go back to back a little bit. So in the, in the course of massaging her back, right? You're this is, this is how you're going to play this. You're going to be massaging her back through her clothes, and then at some point you're going to be like, "Man, this is I'm not really getting a really good grip right here because I wish I could get a better grip here." And you're going to say it like that because you're not going to say, "Hey, take off your shirt," because then she's going to think he just wants my boobs. What you're going to do is say, "Hey, I'm trying to get a, I really wish I could get a better grip back here. Is this feeling okay? Because I feel like it's like a lot of movement here. I found doing that." Women will just be like, oh, hold on, let me just, and then they'll just, of their own accord, without you having to ask them, they will take off their shirt. And that's the sign that she wants the massage to happen because she wants good foreplay, all right? So if you're, if you're up here, and here's how you can do this, right? If you're up here in the neck massaging in the beginning, you can get this part without having her take her shirt off, right? And so if, if she really likes the feeling of that, that's going to start getting her in the mood of like, oh, this is like feeling really good. I want this to happen more. And then you get to her back and it's like, oh, there's a shirt here. What can I do? And then so she of her own accord will take her shirt off. Now, here's the other trick, right? Because we eventually wanted to get the bra. So at this point... You're going to be massaging around her bra. You're going to massage below the part right here. And then you're going to start acting like you're trying to massage in the middle of her back. And so you're trying to get there. You're going around the bra strap, but you're not taking it off. You're just going around it and say like, okay, does this feel good? Like, oh, and, and then you may, want to, you may want to reach under there and just kind of like scratch a little bit. Because I find women love to get in their back scratch, right? So you can get under the little bra strap and just start scratching like this. And like, oh, that feels really good. Like, yeah, I tell it's like that bra strap it seems like it's like making you itch a whole lot, whatever. Like, I really want to massage there, but I'll just scratch it for now. Again, do that for like three or four minutes. I can almost guarantee you, the majority of women that have done this on, it's like, oh, you know, I just, yeah, let me just get my back too. And they'll just take off the back. And now they may even just let, have it laying forward on them because they're still lying flat on their chest, right? But they'll take that bra strap off. So now at the point that you've massaged her back, You've massaged her legs, and maybe, maybe you've touched her butt, but you haven't really gone that way. At this point, you can say, okay, so that was the back massage. And then you can say, uh, if you want a front massage, let me know. At this point, she's got a decision to make. That, that massage you gave, if you did it right, felt really, really good. And now, she's starting to get turned on. She's probably a level of horny yet, but you've touched none of her main parts, right? But she's getting there. And so at this point, she may be like, oh, okay, fine. And she'll turn over to her back. At this point, it's game time. Now, we're still talking about foreplay because here's the important part, guy. You are not going to touch her sexualized parts yet. Yes, at this point, she might have turned over. She might have even taken off her bra. She is exposed. You're like, oh my God, those are amazing. And she's thinking, now that I've shown my boobs, the next move he's going to make is he's going to go right to my boobs. You are not going to go right to her boobs. Because again, this is a tease. This is a game for her. This is the, this is the thing you're playing because you want to get her to the maximum level. Like if she's at 70%, fantastic. No, we want her down there dripping so much that as soon as you touch it, it's like, <sighs> so what you can do instead is this. You got her on the front, on that side now. And so you start kind of like, you take your hand and this is almost like some tantric stuff, but you just kind of like run your hand up and down her body. Like you take your, your hand and start at her foot and just foot and just slowly like rub it up her body. And then you're going to rub it past her thigh. That's what, because her thigh, her vagina is like right there. Like it's right there. You could just boop and you're over there. Don't, don't do that. Nope. What you're going to do instead, you're going to take your hand and just walk it right by her vagina. But still in the thigh, but you're not touching the thigh, but just right by her thigh. And you're going to caress her stomach. Just make a little, few little circles around her stomach like this. And then you're going to bypass her boobs. Like, again, all this thing is like you're passing by these zones as if to say, I'll catch you later. So you're passing by the vagina. And then you get towards her boobs. You're like right at the under boob. Oh, nope. You're going to do a curve around. You're going to do like the curvature part of her boob. And you're just going to feel up. And then at that point, you're just touching her. And you're just kind of going back back around to her other side, and you're just doing a nice light feel, go back down to her arms, you're feeling her arms like this, very lightly, 
and you know you're feeling all the little hairs on her on her arm, whatnot. And this is going to drive her insane. She's like, okay, I get it. You're you're being patient, but like, oh my god, like he's not touching any of my. And I feel, and you're gonna to start to see her, her nips just like pop up, like boing, and you're gonna be seeing her vagina there, there kind of look like a little bit moister than it normally is, and like yeah. So this is all the foreplay stuff you want to do before you start getting into the nitty gritty. And then even then, even when you get to like where her sexualized parts are, the reality is that. The, the center zones are where the most uh, erotic parts are for her, but you got to get around those before you get to them. So like, yeah, you get to her boobs. It'd be good if you could just suck on her nipples, but you know what you're going to do instead is you're going to, you know, start licking on her boobs around the areola, like that big brown thing that's on her where the nipple and stuff is. You're going to lick around that, making sure not to actually touch the nipple, right? You can go to her other boob. You can do the same thing. You can take your hands now and you can start literally massaging because believe it or not, these are muscles. Women actually love like getting massages on their boobs. So you're going to reach, reach under her boobs and just start kind of like gently massaging almost like a wave-like motion around her boobs. Still not touching the nipple yet, right? So you're going to feel around the boob part areas. You're going to do a little massaging. Like here, here's her nipples here. You're going to massage like the top of her boob because this also feels good for women because these boobs carry a lot of stress. They're hanging down all day. They're wearing bras, but it's not helping. And so you massaging these parts. This is, again, it feels good. Massages feel great, but it's also, it's making her body feel more and more ready for you, right? So by the time you've done all of that, when you finally do take your hand and start gliding it back down her vagina, she's already going to be like open up. And I say that because sometimes if you're not doing all that, you'll get, you'll try to get down there and notice that a woman's still kind of closed up a little bit. And that's because she hasn't been prepped properly. But if you prep a woman properly, then it's going to be very easy to just get down there and slide your fingers right into her, which you're not yet going to do. What you're going to do instead is you're going to treat her vagina like you've treated the rest of her body. So now let's say this is like a replica of the opening down there, right? So you're trying to get to here. This is where like the clit is, right? But you're missing out because all these other parts right here also have veins and muscles and it's an erogenous zone. They're very sensitive. And so you don't want to go straight to here because again, that could be a little bit too soon. If you really want to like get her elevated, you're going to massage this area here, either with your fingers or your tongue, but you're going to gently massage these areas. I find you could do like light touches here. Cause sometimes just touching this, the space, a woman was just to start to go haywire. So you just touch a little bit here like this, and then you like increase the pressure slowly and that's going to start to build up. And then you can start to build up the pace a little bit more and more. But again, you're not going for the direct kill shot. You want to make sure you're around this area because that's going to really get her aroused even more to the point where again, she should start just like leaking out like it's nobody's business. I like to do the thing where like I'll take my hand and put it on her pubic mound and so I can pull up a little bit because that little tension is just like, you know, when a woman's pulling on your stuff, they feel that tension. So you pull it up a little bit and then you kind of like gently just massage the lips that are right there. Just massage them with your hands. All that in totality is what's going to end up making this feel like the best foreplay she's had in her life. So when you do all of that stuff, by the time you get to that, you're going to find her nipples are extremely aroused. You're going to find that she's wet down there. It's going to be easier at this point. So when you go to those parts for her to just be like in a darn near explosion, you know, you spend all this time not touching the main part of her boobs to where when you finally lick it, she's like, oh my God, he's finally touching them. You're massaging her vagina. You're, you're massaging the thighs around her vagina, but you're not touching it yet. So that way when you finally do touch it, she's like, oh my God, just stick it in me. And she'll be just like, gushing like and then that doesn't even get into like various things like how to actually play with her vagina and how to like do things to maximize that but i just wanted to do this lesson in particular about the foreplay aspects as you can see there's so many things that you can do that will cons be considered as foreplay that will really rile her up to where you should have no problems entering her whether it's with your fingers or with your member down there you should be able to just go in and she will be having the best time of her life as a total experience of sex not just we got home, he stripped me naked, he tried to put his BMIV and it really kind of hurt and oh my God, he doesn't know what he's doing. And trust me, again, women have told me this story time and time again of they bring guys home or they go to the guy's home and they think it's going to be all great and then lo and behold, the guy doesn't know how to do nothing. I want you to be the guy that's able to stand out because here's the reality, guys, women will dump dudes for bad sex, even the hot guys, but especially those guys that aren't willing to put in what the woman needs in order to have a total experience. So the better you know your foreplay game, the better chance you have of being able to really keep her satisfied and keep her around for repeat sessions. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. And uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it with your friends, share it with your guy friends that need help with this stuff. Check out introvertdatingsuccess.com for my ebooks, audiobooks, and programs. 
all designed to help you better your dating game. Check y'all later. Peace.